Uh, we did a story recently on the um, failure of the yes vote in Australia, which attempted to have Indigenous rights included in their constitution. It failed, but mm. more interestingly, the support for the vote flipped once campaigning began. I think it took about mm. six months. And those Indigenous Australians are now warning Māori that the same groups um, are behind this referendum. Are they, do you think? Well, if, if you're about to go into the new pizza gate of the left conspiracy theory, um, then I'll be real disappointed. What's that, the pizza gate? at some crazy conspiracy theory that Trump has had in the US. The campaign in Australia had links to the Atlas Network, a oh, network of think yep. tanks which promote individual liberty and free enterprise. Mm. Mm. And it said that the network push, pushes opinion mm. pieces in favour of free speech. Do the ACT Party have any links or connections to the Atlas Group? No. Have you spoken or taken advice from them or any group associated with them about no. the treaty? So, you know, recently... Um, I can't believe you're doing this. I've, I've read about this conspiracy theory and you're actually running it, but that's cool. Well, no, I'm just trying to understand it because mm. we went to Australia and mm. we, we analysed the, we analyzed, mm. um, the, the, the Yes campaign over there and we spoke with Indigenous people about their fears about what would happen, happen in the referendum. Mm. And so um, when you consider... Um, you know, actually, you and I spoke about it. You said you, that you had met Lord Hannon, and then yep. um, the TPU, the Taxpayer Union, had invited you to come along, and he spoke about this treaty and the possible of, uh, possibility of a referendum. So, isn't that, in fact, um, you know, you know, these movements and these groups talking about our referendum? What well, going along to meet someone who's a famous figure um, in world politics? What did he come to New Zealand for? I have no idea, but I was really well, you pleased. Were there. To, I was really pleased to have dinner with the guy. I mean, he's you know he's world famous as a politician. You get to meet him, see what he But you to went say. along to that mm. function mm. Um, to listen to him, where he talked about the Magna Carta and the treaties. And oh my God, the Magna Carta! He did, and the and, and, scandalous. And, well, I'm not saying that that's scandalous. I'm just saying this is what he yeah. talked about. I listened to it online because it was posted by the TPU and so he talked about that and he talked about the danger of um, the misinterpretation of treaties and what they meant and he's you know and he also says what what you say is that the judiciary is getting too involved or they're making the interpretation of it is too wide. Um, you do know that people have had concerns about judicial activism all over the world for all sorts of reasons for hundreds of years right? No, I, I, I mean, don't. You're, you're trying to <laughs> and you're trying to say that this is somehow some crazy conspiracy theory. I mean, come on. No, no, I'm just asking the question. I'm asking whether, whether you know if there's any kind of connection. So you're answering there is well, no I've, connection? I've told you there's no connection. Yeah. Come on. I'm just disappointed in you for picking up a known conspiracy theory that several people have sent to me and I never thought I'd get asked about it by you, but hey, there you go. Well, so my role mm. is to ask questions on mm. behalf of other people mm. and and also, also, also work out what's quality information, what's not, but anyway, you go. Well, well Mata is a, a programme that looks at things through an Indigenous lens mm. and so when we have discussions